My name's Brian Turner, and I used to have extremely severe cystic acne all over my face. I couldn't go anywhere or do anything without people pointing it out, you know, whether I was at the gym or at the store, everywhere. Even when people were genuinely trying to help, it just crushed my confidence. That's not even mentioning the bullying every day at school. That's what really struck deep. That's what really, really hurt me. And when I could escape being around those people who were bullying me, I couldn't escape my own thoughts. I was tearing myself down every single day, day in and day out. The next part of my story, it still doesn't really make sense to me because for some reason, I decided to start sharing my acne journey online on YouTube to thousands of people literally allowed to say whatever they want. I did it because I really felt alone. Like I was crying myself to sleep. I hated my skin. I started to hate myself. I just didn't have anybody else to share it with. And it made me realize there was thousands of other people who also felt exactly the same as me. They felt alone. They felt like they needed somebody or maybe they didn't even know they needed somebody, but they were in the same shoes that I was in. So I started sharing week by week and there was tons of positive comments. I was really helping people and that was amazing. That's what really encouraged me to continue. But I also opened myself up to infinitely larger amounts of extremely cruel people who were much, much better at insulting than my real life bullies protected by anonymity behind their keyboards. They were just saying whatever they wanted to, and I was just reading every single one of those comments. Now, recently I was filming an interview with one of the members of my acne program, theacnemethod.com, for a testimonial showing his acne transformation, and he actually turned the tables on me to ask how I dealt with acne hate, especially when it became so amplified by sharing my journey on the internet, and I wanted to share what I said. Bro, I gotta ask you, obviously you've been doing YouTube for a long time. I know it was a struggle, with people, you know what I mean, bringing negativity into the comments or saying different things and in and outside of the internet, right? What was the hardest part about dealing with that? And then what was the thing that allowed you to push through it all at the end of the day? Yeah, dude, that's a really good question, man. I, I really, really struggled with the way that people were already talking to me in real life. And then I started sharing my acne journey and my videos and just showing my face just completely uncensored and people are 10 times worse on the internet than they are in real life because they don't have to receive your response so they don't have to own up to what they're saying and so yeah people were like telling me to kill myself and people were telling me you know just like I'm the ugliest person ever and I'm disgusting all this stuff man and yeah there was a period where uh, I don't know I, I just I really struggled with continuing sharing and I almost thought about stopping um, and like there was one video that I filmed that was called the first time acne made me cry and I was just sharing this really deep Just hard time in my life and I filmed it But then I sat there and I was like, I don't think I can upload this and I struggled with it for hours And then eventually I just pressed the publish button and then just closed my computer and went to bed Just like stop thinking about it um, But the thing that changed it man because I think I really would have stopped at some point because it was it was getting really hard the thing that changed it was I started to see people messaging me. I saw the comments, but I would get these really deep messages from people who were talking like how you, you talked earlier in this interview where you were like, yeah, man, at certain points I had thought about like killing myself or just even had like those deep, dark thoughts. And people would share that they were at that point and then they found my channel. And then just having someone else who they didn't feel alone, they had someone who finally looked like them and had acne like them because no one else in their life shared that. They didn't feel alone and then that just gave them like this safe space and ability to grow and from there they like literally people would tell me these stories where they went from there to like they feel great they're they're stoked their life's so much better and for me i was like if i can do that by sharing and even though sometimes it's really hard sometimes you know it makes me like want to cry if i can change someone's life and not like literally not take their life then that's 100 percent worth it and so for me that just became it like i love helping people and i was like this is what i was called to do you might not be sharing your acne to the internet probably not right but the hate and the things that people say to you have a huge impact on you whether you realize it right now or not you know some days it can be a little easier than others you know when your grandma points out a spot on your face and you're having a decent day you just give her the benefit of the doubt you just remember it's it's probably coming from a good place other days you're at your wits end like literally can't handle any more commentary on your acne and then you're at the store and the cashier mentions some cleanser product that clears everybody's acne and you should use it and then you just burst into tears that's how acne is your skin fluctuates, of course, yeah, but so do your feelings, and that's the part that's really hard. So I really wanted to share this. There's two things that 
really helped me majorly to not let the hate destroy me anymore and really to rebuild my confidence and my own self-love. And those things are one, find a passion and absolutely lose yourself in it. If you don't have anything that invigorates you, that gets you into that flow state, that groove where you just lose track of time, just completely enveloping your brain with excitement and love for this passion, well, your brain has plenty of idle time and it's going to envelop itself in something. And for us acne people, just about nine times out of 10, that's obsessing about our skin. You know how sometimes at the end of a long day, you know, working or studying, you've just been going and going and going, you just need something to turn your brain off. So you take a hot bath or you play video games or you read your favorite book, whatever it is, right? I cannot stress enough how helpful of a tool it is to have a passion that you can use to do the exact same thing. Turn your brain off, stop thinking about what you think about your acne and your skin, what other people have said about it. You can just turn all of that white noise off. And number two, I learned to love myself. And I'm not talking about the cliche, fake it till you make it. I'm not talking about, you know, I'm gonna love myself once I have clear skin. No, I mean, truly look deep inside, find the traits that you're proud of and try to develop those traits more. A lot of times that's, you know, leaning into your passion, right? Becoming proud of skills that you develop. But other times it can be other things. Like for me, it was being of service to others. Nothing solidified my own value to myself more than when I saw that sharing my vulnerabilities was helping people just not feel alone anymore. And that to me, unlocked this this key inside of me where I stopped down talking myself. I stopped telling myself that I was like useless or cursed or it wasn't fair. I started saying like this 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 can be a blessing. Like this is truly allowing me to connect with people in a way that I didn't realize I could connect. And that was one of the things that changed how I was seeing myself. So if you're watching this video right now because you're dealing with hate, because of your acne, if you're feeling beat down, if you have low self-esteem, there's nothing that I can say to immediately make it better, right? But what I can say is this, you're not alone. It might feel like it, right? Because you don't know anyone else who has acne like yours, but I'm telling you, there are thousands of us. I don't know you personally, so it's probably hard to believe this, but I love you. I see the value in every single person and even more so in people who have acne because people with acne quickly learn to become empathetic and many of us decide never to tear anyone down again because we know exactly how bad that hurts. Instead, we try to lift other people up. We try to spread love. We show up. We become excellent friends and exemplary people. So remember that the pain you're feeling right now, it's not just pain, it's growth. Anyone who's fortunate enough to become friends with you is lucky they get to spend time around a light as bright as you're becoming. Now you need to learn to love yourself. You need to learn to let that light shine bright. Stop hiding, stop dampening that brightness, that gold that's in your heart. Seriously, I love you guys so much. And I really want you to learn to love yourself in the same way. I appreciate you guys watching this video. I really hope it had an impact on you and I'll see you guys in the next one.